Hello, my friend and friend. I have a New Year's resolution that I want you to set. If you haven't figured one out yet, this is what it's going to be, is to simplify Grid as much as possible when you're using it. Uh, I, you might know I'm a very big proponent of Grid, and I get, always get comments from people saying how Flexbox is easier to use, with a few people recently mentioning, I, I couldn't figure out why they were always saying this, because I'm like, no, this is actually easier to understand. And then I finally got what one of the complaints is, which is that people like the single track approach that you get with Flexbox, where you're just worried about a row or column or however you're setting up, versus the more complicated approach of grid, where you're dealing with rows and columns and line numbers and everything else. But grid does not need to be complicated like that. We can definitely simplify it. And I want to look at how you can do that today. So I have this demo set up and you can see it's this holy grail layout where you have like the, the header across the top, three columns, and then a footer down here uh, at the bottom. I don't think I have media queries set up. We could set this up with media queries if we wanted to, but that even gets more complicated because I've done this in a bit of the traditional way where uh, you can see here I'm doing this with line numbers. So I set up this holy grail at the top. In the holy grail, we have the header, the left side, the main, the right side, and the footer. And it's all being controlled here. And this is often how I was using grid at the beginning too, because I was like, cool, I can do this. But if we do that, one way we do it then is setting up these line numbers everywhere. And then if I did want to make this responsive, I'd have to modify my this, but then I'd have to play with those line numbers too, and it gets a little bit more complicated as time goes on. One other way we can actually do this is also with grid areas instead, right? So here uh, in this version, I've set it up very similar way. Uh, we don't actually need these rows here. I was from another demo I had set up. This one's actually using a media query. So we can see it's it's changing, same layout that we had before. And the reason it's changing, and this is kind of simpler, is I'm just setting up these grid template areas. So I want the header going across the top, the main, the left, the main, the right, the footer, the footer, the footer. And then I just assign these areas uh, or each of the elements to those areas. And this works fine. Uh, I actually am a big proponent of using grid template areas for certain things. But in this case, once again, I feel like we're overcomplicating things. We're getting into this idea that grid has to be controlling this big, large scale layout. And I really don't think that's the case. So let's go back to this line, um, the one with the line numbers, so I can talk about how we can actually simplify this. And so we have the, the header, the left side, the main, the right side, the footer. And the problem right away, if I'm doing this, is that, well, this is already going all the way from one side to the other. And this is going from one side to the other. So if I do that, that means I could do a negative one on both of these. And it would simplify life a little bit because I'm just saying go from one side to the other. But if my grid is already the full width of the viewport and I'm doing this, you have to wonder, do I really need it at all? Could I take these off? And that's going to break my layout, right? But we can take those off and it breaks everything. But then I could just take this header and move it up. So it's not inside the layout anymore. And then I could take this footer and I could move it down outside the layout as well. And well, that's not going to break anything down here at the bottom because they're just block elements and they're stretching to fill up all the space. Okay, that's kind of cool that that's happening. And now my holy grail layout's not really serving to do that. So maybe I switch this to main grid, main, main content. We'll say main content, uh, right? And then here, this would switch over to main content. Cool, that works. Uh, and I get the three columns showing up and, and everything is working. And if I do this, well, I don't need these here either. I can just remove those. Uh, and now I have my layout. My layout is working exactly as it was before, but all I've done is modified my HTML slightly to simplify things. <laughs> Uh, where it's my header going all the way across the top because it's what I want to do. This is controlling the three columns and then I have my footer down here. And what I like about this is with grid, other than compared to Flexbox, because you could definitely do this with Flexbox, I don't have to go on the children to help tell them how big to be. I'm just setting up, okay, you're this size, you're this size, and you're whatever is the leftover space in the middle. And if I want to make this responsive, I just put a media query here. So we can nest media queries now. So let's say media. And we'll say then the width is greater than, not question mark, greater than, uh, let's say, I don't know, 860 pixels. We come in with my grid template columns then. And if we do that and we get too small, well, everything stacks the way we wanted it to from the beginning. And then we get bigger, it comes there. Because I've simplified my grid, that also simplifies modifying the grid for different screen sizes as well. And for so many things, this is actually how I use grid. Uh, just for a couple of columns or rows, 
the same way that people like that simplified system with Flexbox, you can do that exact same thing with Grid. And I like that the control of this layout is all happening here instead of, oh, this needs to be this size and this needs to be this size and something then needs to grow because when you do that with Flexbox, when things wrap, then they're not the right size and then you have to tell them to grow, but then the grows kind of muck up because you need the middle one growing and you can do it. And there's really good ways of setting up more intrinsic systems that I'm doing here. In this case, I'm using a media query. Uh, but yeah, I like the simplicity of this and you do not need to come in with complicated grids. You can come in with very simple ones like this right here. So a nice quick short video to uh, get into the end off 2025, get into 2026, however we want to think about it. Uh, yeah, happy new year. A uh, big thank you to my enabler of awesome Johnny, as well as all my other patrons and channel members. And of course, until next year, keep on making your corner of the internet just a little bit more awesome.